Joe, well, this man has been there before, and he certainly looks like it. The number one middleweight contender back in a championship setting, and we've talked about this a lot, but he made himself undeniable with this run back to contention. Now he tries to rest away the goal. That's not easy, John. It's not easy to make your way back because you have been there before, and maybe it didn't work out for you, but to stay positive, to have that steel trap of a mind that allows for you to rebuild yourself makes you know when you do get back, you have a greater appreciation for the opportunity. Tonight he said he intends to finally cash in. There are a lot of high-level guys at 185 pounds, a lot of contenders waiting in the wings. This challenger knows he has to maximize this opportunity in front of him tonight. So Israel Adesanya obviously was mashing through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proven ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the X's and the O's, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him where he needs him to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime, to your point, in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, back in the octagon here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the challenger, the... And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, All right, Herb Dean, third man Ready, in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, always interesting to see the early portions of an Israel Adesanya fight. You know how electric a striker this is. You know how proud New Zealand is to have him as a Kiwi in the UFC. But a lot of fighters are going to try to take him down and punish him on the ground. Not a lot of fighters are going to have success with that. Let's see how the opposition chooses to attack Adesanya here tonight. Taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target. Hands up, hands up. Fight behind the night jack. Oh man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. Oh! Uh, this could just about do it. Oh, I tried to hit him by the chair. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, beautiful display on the feet there by the champ, Adesanya. You haven't seen many guys that have come from straight kickboxing and done as well as the last style bender. He's a fantastic fighter, and that's why he skyrocketed to the top of the division. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it does not always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sonya lands. Under three minutes now to go on the round. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya is cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. And blocks the shot there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night that that landed. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Adesanya. Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Adesanya. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again there. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go headhunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. Oh, beautiful land there by Alessandro. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the astronaut fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asante. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this earlier. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. That can't feel good. Final seconds of round one. Oh. Oh, how about the end of that round? He got knocked down just before the horn, saved by the bell. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds to recover. We'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight. We all take shots, okay? All right, listen. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the $50,000. <laughs> they laid it all along the line. They dropped the quarter in the middle of the octagon, <laughs> and they said, let's go. What a round. 
Last time I've ever got it going here tonight, DC, as he often says, I don't throw and hope, I aim and fire. His accuracy is on a completely different level than most of these middleweights he's facing. Leg kick now. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. Distance management, one-on-one, -on -one, another punch lands. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Asanya's starting to flow every time that area gets targeted that cuts getting worse it's getting worse and worse and you see the blood starting to come down that is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on and whether or not he's reaching for it whether or not he's confused about where it's at you got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward well no denying that he walked him but couldn't quite get the finish he hurt him real bad but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Adesanya. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Nice combination by the champ. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Big knee there. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Nice straight punch there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh! He went high on that one. Adesanya's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, another one. Side kick. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Oh, man, this guy is must-see TV. How about the combination there from Israel Adesanya? What a representative for city kickboxing. His head coach, Eugene Behrman, they've got a real star on their hands. Oh, man. That cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy figures to be busy between fights. He's going to be very busy. He's going to be very busy trying to keep this guy in the fight. His cut has gotten bad. And he has got a guy in front of him that is going to continue to target. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Oh, 10 minutes in the can. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here.
Ready to fight. Ready. Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Oh! This is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop. Oh, no! Oh, big overhand! Nice crack there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Adesanya's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, beautiful jab there by Adesanya. Checks that leg kick. Israel Adesanya is really limping now. Clearly, the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Some really significant. There it is again. Look at it. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh! Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks right up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, we got blood now, folks. Doctor might need to step in shortly. We got a huge situation here. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Nice side kick. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essential. Oh! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Israel.
the last style bender, All right, so as they say, another highlight for the appreciable reel of the middleweight champ, Israel Adesanya, your winner tonight by knockout. Adesanya is such a powerful guy and such a big guy that when he lands, he can shut your lights off. Tonight, he gets the job done in spectacular fashion.